What is up, Karatics? This year we're going to be customizing the brand new Winnie EC Classic. So we had the regular EC in the game for a while, convertible Mini Cooper. Now we have the Classic version of that, which I find really cool. This has been a highly requested vehicle for many people. 360 grand. Yes, that's a lot for such a small little car. But at the end of the day, how long has it been since you've seen a DLC car for less than $400,000? Probably the Camacho was like the last one that was really good for its money. But here it is right here. I think it's really, really cool for the money. And um, yeah, I already bought it. Here it is. Very, very small car in comparison. So you can see the GB200 right there, which is an already small car. And next to the SE Classic, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy how small this car is. I mean, in real life, I know they're small, but I mean, I think Rockstar got the proportions right this time. Really good. It's got a really nice interior as well. Look at that. They did a good job. It's like a miniaturized version of the Rapid GT Classic interior. It's pretty much what they did. The little seats too, and the shifter. Every, everything is really nice on this car. Alright, so obviously it's based off the Mini Cooper, but which one? So it's based off the 1967 Mini Cooper Mark II. That's what it's primarily based off of. Now you could say it's like the 1999 model, but it's not. It's 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 mainly the 67 Mark II. I'm sure there's probably upgrades that can make it look like the newer one, but I guess we'll see once we go inside. Let's go ahead and do that. Right on the D-pad. Let's see what we what get. We Hopefully, here? we got some cool, fun stuff on this little car. Alright, you got armor, bodywork. So, you have, wow, black trim instead of all the chrome. That I find really cool. So, you can get rid of all the chrome and go straight to black trim. You got part carbon trim. Okay, so it's carbon instead of the black. No rush at all. Part primary trim. Secondary trim, full primary trim, and then full secondary trim. I, I mean, honestly, I, I, this is a classic car. I, I like the chrome, so I'm gonna keep the stock chrome. Okay, we bumpers. Down. It was secondary bumper, carbon, carbon street splitter. That's cool. A little splitter down there. Carbon street. Oh, wow, look at that painted street bumper. Uh, this car is really cool already. I can already see like this is insane. All these little customization options. Honestly, I like the little splitter. I think it's cool. Let me do the painted street. Let's do the painted street. We got the rears. We got mud guards. That is cool. I like that a lot. We got the carbon bumper. Carbon bumper with guards. Race splitter. Race splitter with guards. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to go with the race splitter with the guards because I have really no other choice because of that front bumper. Okay, next up we got chassis. So you got tour lights. Primary rally, secondary rally, carbon street interior. What? No, I'm not going to ruin the interior. Look at that. You make it this all carbon. You're ruining the classic look of the car. Sticker bomb interior. I've never seen that before. And a stripped out. Well, so you can literally turn this into a race car if you really want to. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with the interior. I like that. I do like the primary rally lights, though. I think that's She's pretty got cool. A good chassis on her. Okay, engine, exhaust. Well, you got a lot of options. So you got exhaust coming out of the reverse. No, actually out of the brake lights. Titanium out of the brake lights. Then you have center... And you have side exhaust for some reason. And you have a giant you carbon need a tip. Drink? Okay. Bubbles or something? Now that's that's definitely interesting. Those are some interesting options there. Okay. I think I'm gonna do the uh, carbon and the case twin. Okay. I'm gonna do the uh, 
twin boot cut and thought. Looks great. So we got fenders. So you got, oh yeah, little white body flares. Sticker bomb, Liberty Walk. Ooh, these are nice. These smoothed out white arches. Although white arches are too far out though. Wait, look at that. It's too far out. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little ones because they, they they don't they don't go as far out as the other ones. So I'm gonna do the primary street Whatever arches. Grill. And you have a stripped on grill, which I like a lot. Carbon stock grill, painted, vertical chrome, vertical painted, classic. Okay. I think I'm gonna do a strip down. I like the strip down oh, grill. Hood. Okay, you're gonna remove the whole hood. See the belt. So you got carb, secondary, carbon, sticker bomb, pyramid grill, slotted grill, hold grill. Jesus, vanity hood. Got 14 different hoods. I've never seen so many hood options on a car. Performance <laughs> hood. Exposed filter hood. Exposed tri filter. A blower? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Rock starts running out of ideas. Jesus. I just want a hood similar to the Mini Cooper S. I guess the scooped hood is probably the closest we're going to get. Yep. No rush all right. All. Scooped hood it is. Even though I don't like that little vent on the side, but. I guess that's the closest we're gonna get. Okay. Headlights, so you do. I wish they would have given us yellows, but they already gave us kind of blues headlights, so we're just gonna do the xenons. Liveries, alright. So you got the classic Winnie. It's nice. White stripes, which you can't see because my car is white, but they're going over the roof. Right there, you can kind of see them darker shade. So we got the checkered checker fade. That's really cool. Performance weaning. You can think it. I can do it. Weaning on the side. The cursive looks good. Track day sixty nine. <laughs> it's awesome. Basic sponsors. That's also the white stripes are kind of like those yellow ones. They're the same way but just white, and no stickers. Uh, Aero race car. Making decisions is stressful. Fin racer. Splatter drone. That's interesting. And then lastly, you have the pocket hot rod. All right. So I'm gonna do the classic. Uh, I'm gonna do the white stripes, and you're gonna see why in a second. All right, respray. So I'm gonna Long do. I'm gonna do. A metallic, uh, like a British racing green, the, the dark green. Look at that. You've got an green. Stuff. That's secondary. I have no idea what color it is. It is your bumper and the diffuser. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, it's also the trim around the headlights. That's interesting. And the scoop. Okay, so I definitely have to do that in green. Okay, where's that green? Where's that green? Uh, dark green. Okay. Your cosmetics are on point. Wow, that's pretty nice. Except we got trim color, so you can change the whole interior of the car. Definitely gonna do like a uh, like a tan. Bleach brown, or the the sandy brown. That's my. Oh yeah. And your crew emblem would go right there on the side of the door. <laughs> My gosh, that's that's almost as big as the door. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, that emblem's a little bit too big. Okay, so we got roof. So you have secondary roof, full carbon roof, full wood roof, sticker bomb, checkerboard, and then mosaic. Do you need a drink? So it's up to you what you want to do with the roof. I'm going to leave it with the stripes. So we got skirts. Do you have a primary lip skirt? Oh, that's nice, okay. Secondary, carbon, sticker bomb, primary, the street skirt, that's nice. 
carbon and then sticker pop. So I'm gonna do the primary uh, primary street skirt. Spoiler, so you have you roof decide. rack, that is nice. Technology and budget permitting. Ski rack, the surfboard, oh my god. The surfboard's almost as big as the car. <laughs> Small luggage. Ooh, thank god they gave us these little dovetail spoilers. What, what, but they gave us a dovetail spoiler, but no, it has to, it has to be carbon. Well, I guess we can sacrifice Girl, a little bit. I wish it would have been the same with color with the stripes and all that, but they got lazy there. That kind of sucks. Suspension, definitely want to lower this thing. Look at that. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Just some tuners, so we got stock. I'm gonna do the, uh, where are those wheels? Oh yeah, classic mini wheels with the chrome. Look at that, awesome. Okay, let me show you guys what the high ends look like, just so you know. I'm not gonna put those on this car, just so you know what they look like. There you go, if you wanna go for like a more modern look, I'm going for the classy look with the tuner wheels. Okay, windows if you wanna tint them. Honestly, I'm not sure about tinting them. It does look pretty decent with a tint, though. Let's do that. Light smoke. All right, that's all the options. Let's go ahead and go outside. I'm gonna give you my opinion on how it drives. All right, so it is in the compact class. That's nice. Thank God they didn't put it in the sports classic. So right away, I can feel that that engine resistance type of thing that's going on with it. It's uh. It's struggling with the power. The engine's like dying down on its own. So it feels kind of like any other compact car, to be honest. It feels kind of like the Briozo, but a lot more loose. I mean, it's not anything crazy. I mean, you're not going to go extremely fast in this car. This car is made specifically to look good, have great customization, which it does by miles. The customization was... In my opinion, a 9 out of 10 in the customization department. I think they did a good job there. It's all around a great little car. I like it a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and open the doors. See what, hopefully everything opens. Yep, everything opens. Nice. I think I got the engine there. Awesome. The interior with the vapid floor mats very very nice manual even though there's no stick shift cars in gta it's all automatic <laughs> supposedly and there we got the exhaust coming out of the trunk that's a problem with those exhaust tips i guess i have to change that later on but we got the vapid trunk mat as well very, very nice little car. I think Roger did a good job with it. I mean, look, look at the trim around the carpet. is even the same color as your trim color. That's really nice. Very, very nice job. All in all, I mean, it's a great little car. I think Roger did a good job with the customization, the way it looks, everything like that. Honestly, I think it's worth the money. It is worth the money. So I definitely recommend you guys buy this if you have extra money laying around. But don't expect to buy this and be the best of the compacts classes. That's not going to happen. Until they fix those issues that they're having with the uh, the handling, how it slows you down, and the bumps and all that. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.